Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn about the axis of symmetry, okay? Now, um, let's kind of break that down real quick. Axis, okay? That means um, what you're used to hearing is your y-axis and your x-axis, right? Same thing here. Axis is just going to be a line that goes across, up or down, okay? Now, symmetry means it's the same on the left as it is on the right. Uh, faces are symmetric because if you cut it in the middle, they usually look the same. Or at least they would if I didn't draw weird faces. Um, so, for instance, if you've got a quadratic equation, you know, it's going to look like that and have a parabola. The axis of symmetry is going to cut straight through the middle of it, okay? Now, what the axis of symmetry is going to be, it's going to be a line down our coordinate plane. It can be either there or there. Or there, or there, or there. You get the picture. Okay, so it can be anywhere. Oh, look. Hashtag baller. Haha, <laughs> good stuff. Calm down. Okay. So, what is our axis of symmetry? What is the equation? Well, it's x equals negative b over 2a. Sometimes you'll see people and they'll attach that negative in the front like this. I don't like that because it confuses kids. They're like, do I put it here, here, do I wait for it, whatever. Just put the negative up there on top and let's be done with it, okay? So, that's your equation. x equals that. Now, let's look at something before we get started. In our coordinate plane, we've got our y-axis and our x-axis. Whenever we do the um, axis of symmetry, we have it to where it's x equals something. Okay, That means that whatever we're going to get, whatever, whatever the answer is, say x equals 2, that means that it's going to be over 2. And it doesn't matter what the y is, it'll always be over 2. Therefore, it's straight up and down. Let's well, say, say our x up here equals negative 3. Doesn't matter where it's going to be, it's always going to be a negative 3 for the x. Doesn't matter what the y is, that's our axis of symmetry. So, what you can tell is your axis of symmetry here is going to be a straight up and down vertical line. Okay? Let's look at an equation. Alright, let's say the equation that was given to me, which is why I'm doing this question, by Adam. Um, let's say it's negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now, as a reminder, it's a x squared plus bx plus c. Now, all we do is we take plug in, take what you know, and plug it in. Find what you don't know. All right. So we're just going to plug our stuff in. All right. So we got negative, and what's our b? Two. Be conscious of the signs in there. Okay. So negative two over, and then we'll do the two a part. 2 is still a number, and then our a is right here, okay? Now, this one might be where Adam had the question. There's no number there, so what do we use? What do we always know is there, even though it's not shown there? 1, because we know that 1 times anything is still going to be itself, so we just drop it off of there. So it'll be 2 times negative 1. Like I said, be conscious of your signs, okay? Now we simplify. That still stays negative 2. Then we got 2 times negative 1, or you can, in your head, say distribute the 2 to the negative 1. Same thing. So it'll be negative 2. What's negative 2 divided by negative 2? Positive 1. So that makes our axis of symmetry 1. Now, you're thinking to yourself, that's lovely, great, and grand, and wonderful, but how do I draw that? First off, my question to you is, why didn't this little guy go with everything else? I don't know. So we've got our coordinate plane. That's our x-axis, our y-axis. Now, we know x equals 1. That means that every time, we're always going to go over 1. Doesn't matter if you go over 1 up 0, over 1 up 10, over 1 down 3. Doesn't matter. This is our axis of symmetry. That means if we plotted this right here, which I guess I'll go ahead and do, um, to plot that, we'll need the 3. We go up to 3 right there. And then we can just pick some x's and y's. Um, x, y. Alright, and then we'll pick 0, 1. Um, so it's 0, that'd be 3, which we already plotted. Plug in 1, it'd be 1 squared. I don't know how to just do it, and then I'll, I'll pause it and do it. So after we plot that out and we draw it, it looks like this ugly looking parabola that I've made. But this is our axis of symmetry because it cuts it down the middle. So that's how you find the axis of symmetry. Don't forget to check out the website. That, that, or that. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye.